Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Blair, welcome to my beauty space. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me using a bunch of the oldie but goodies. Cause recently Urban Decay announced that they're discontinuing their Urban Decay Naked One palette. And that just brings back so many memories when I first started beauty. So today I wanna dedicate the video to the Urban Decay Naked One palette, as well as all the other goodies that, you know, we might have forgotten in a while, or maybe not all of that. But at least for me, I know that, you know, some of the items are in my collection and I have moved on for the newer items so yeah I feel like it's time to go down the memory lane and just start from where we you know first started so yeah if you're interested in this video just please keep watching okay so first I'm going to use the lotion so I'm going to use this Shiseido lotion and this is actually an oldie but goodie but it's still relevant because I believe this one is in the market around like 30 years so that's a really long time and I really love this lotion this is my third bottle and I'm about to finish it which is really great didn't get to finish the first two bottles one got spilled in my suitcase the other got shattered when I knock it off my vanity so I'm so thankful that I finally used one and we're going to just using the makeup cotton from um, a Japanese brand so I'm just going to I'm going to moist the color and just apply it all over my face. One of the reasons why I really enjoy this lotion is because it's very mild. So it's not super like harsh or like super like chemical-y. It's just a very mild lotion with like a mild scent. So it just feels really good. That's why I'm like really, really loving it. And next, I'm going to use the Lancome Illuminating and Anti-Fatigue Cooling Eye Gel. So this is what it looks like. I really love this one. And this is actually an OD too. I believe this is around for at least six or seven years, if I remember it correctly. And I still use it because I think it's a good cooling eye gel. And I love the massage tip. I remember back in the day, this was one of the first you know, eye gel in the market that have this kind of like massage ball tip. So I just really love that. Moving on for the lotion. Today I'm going to use the same line from Lancome. This is the Boosting Serum and I love it. I used to use this all the time in my older videos or even like off camera. But then I bought the Tatcha Cream, I bought the Drunk Elephant line. I just kind of put it aside. So I think it's necessary to revisit, you know, your older loves. <laughs> this smells really refreshing. I cannot pinpoint the smell exactly, but I love this scent. So it is good. And next moving on, I just want to use the new Becca Glow Elixir. So this is a pretty new item. The reason why I really love it is because it gives you a really natural glow. So whenever I feel like I want that natural glow, I always chose this one. I'm going to just drop it all over my face. And I'm going to rub it all in. Alright, so we're done with the whole face prep. Now moving on to the primer. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I remember back in the day, everybody talks about this one and it is, you know, the best for oil control. I still think this one is really good, but I personally feel like it's a little bit too silicone for my liking. I like a more like lightweight and non-silicone feel. So that's why I kind of like stopped using this one. But I still feel like it's a good one just because it's just really nice and it really controls all your pores and everything. So I love it. 
So for the foundation today, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but this is in the compact. I'm not sure if they still sell this one, but uh, I got one right before they discontinued because I really love this one. And here inside, you just pump it out and then you dab your beauty blender to, you know, apply all over your face. So yeah, I am in the shade 4N1 Shell Beige and I love this color. All right, so I'm going to just get a Real Technique Beauty Sponge and I am going to use the MAC Fix Plus to wet it. So I'm just gonna wet it all over here. And you know MAC Fix Plus, it's an oldie but goodie, but still it's very, you know, relevant, so I love it. And, and mine is in the scent coconut and I love the scent. It smells pretty good. So we're going to just pick up the foundation on here and then just apply it. I love this foundation. I still think it's a very good foundation. After all, it is double wear, you know? So I think the whole foundation is the same as a double wear, but then you have this compact, so it's actually more like user-friendly than like the double wear without a pump. So I actually kind of want them to still sell this one. Let me know if they still sell this one, because I really don't know. I kind of lost touch of this one for a while. But yeah, moving on, we're going to set our face. So for me, I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Compact to set my face. I remember this being so popular, maybe in 2016, and then people stopped talking about it. I still love this one, so I'm going to use this one. I think it's a little bit dark because this one is in the shade 7 so it's kind of like a darker shade but I still think you can make this one work to be honest because it's not like a super pigment powder I just realized that I forgot to put concealer today so to quickly change that I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer this is what it looks like and I am in the shade 1C light. So this one is a new one that I got recently from Alta. I believe they have some kind of a sale. So I got this one. And I remember back in the day, I really loved this one. Cause it's the one of the few in the market that's like this. I remember before the Urban Decay Naked one, it's this one. So I just love this one. And this is a color. The scent kind of just smells like it's a double wear because it's all the whole line, right? So we're just going to blend it in. It's a little bit too white for me right now, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? We can always use powder to blend it out. But I also love a Breton under eye. So let me apply a little bit underneath my chin and also in between my brows. Like this. So we're going to just apply it right here. And then right here. And I'm going to set my powder using the powder right here. And just set it. So yeah, now our face is set and next step we're gonna do our eyes. All right, moving on to the eyelid. So first I'm going to prep my eyelid using the Kat Von D eyelid primer. I remember this one used to be super popular and I remember back in the day when Jeffree Star still friends with um, Kat Von D, he actually used this one. So yeah, you know the rest is history but I kind of want to use this one because it's in my collection. So I'm going to just draw it on my eyelid 
I actually like this one despite all the drama if we're just talking about the products I actually think this is a pretty good one especially the color is pretty close to your eyelid and also it's a pen so it's very easy to use and also the product is not super sticky you know so it's not gonna be like super messy or you know it's not really like pigmented it's just a bunch of like sticky you know goo kind of a thing so I think this one's decent and like the tar shape tape is kind of the same concept it's like the crayon but Kevin D is definitely OG in this mine is a little bit old so it's not really pigmented as I want it to be but we can still make it work So this is what it looks like and since it's not sticky we don't really need to wait for it to dry we can just directly dig into our eyeshadows so that's one of the pros of using those kind of crayon eye primer all right so for the star of the show which is the naked one palette i recently got this one from um, target because you know it's 27 dollars and they're discontinuing it and i actually really love the shadow brush right here because it's really nicely made i feel like the kiki w shadow or contour brush is kind of similar to this one and i just love it i always love their brush and this is actually my favorite color combo out of all the naked i love the pink one as well but i feel like in terms of practical use this one will be more practical so let's dig in I'm going to just dig in the first shade virgin right here. This is kind of like a white base shade and then using the longer side of the brush and just apply it all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to do the naked shade. I remember back in the day when I watched tutorials, all the YouTubers were talking about, oh, the naked shade, the naked shade. So, yeah, this is a beautiful brown base shade. I just really love it. pretty much mixing this shade with the first shade the virgin shade just so that it achieve kind of like a balanced base if that makes sense so looking good and I'm going to use this side to just gently bluffing it out a little bit all right so moving on I'm going to use the shade gun metal which is the shade right here I'm just gonna smoke it along my lash line because I just want a more you know grungy smoky look so i'm just going to just line along my lash line to give this look a little bit of dramatic effect and also drag it on my crease a little bit i love this color like even till today i feel like the quality of these shadows are really good it's definitely a good shadow palette you know like a solid one I love this look and then I am going to use the shade half baked which is the shade right here let me swatch it for you guys this is probably my favorite shade because I love this kind of shimmery champagne shade so I'm going to spray some fix plus on my brush I'm going to use this side and just spray some and then I'm going to pick up the shade right there whoa look at the look at the color i think this style will be better to be honest in picking up like shimmers because it's more like compact so i'm going to use this side and try to see it's a little bit too wet shouldn't put that much you know drop some so let's just use our finger shall we i love 
love it. It is pretty. I think this is a pretty like standard like going out, like going to school look. I feel like either occasion is okay because it's not like a too crazy of a look, but you can still tell like you know you're putting yourself together. So I really love that. Oh so yeah, I think I will pretty much be using all the shades right here. But in the end, I want a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to use the MAC Longwear Pink Powder in the shade Rubiskin. So here is the shade right here. And when you swatch it, here is the color. Very natural, kind of like a peachy sheen. So I'm going to just apply it using my finger right on top of like the shimmer. I like it. I think it's pretty nice. So on to the other eye. All right, so I'm done with the eyeshadows. So now I'm going to line my eyes using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which is oldie but goodie. So we're going to just line our eyes. I feel like eyeliner literally changes everything. Like I'm no joking, I feel like eyeliner is literally lifesaver. So yep. And moving on, I feel like my under eye is a little bit too dark because of the powder I'm setting my under eye with. So I'm going to set it more using the MAC Fix Plus Studio. And this is oldie but goodie, you know. Till today, people still love it. And I think that they redid their whole like numbering because back in the day, it's only like NWNC. But mine is in C3, so I guess it's a new like numbering. I don't know, but the sales associate told me that I am in this shade. So I trust her and we're going to just using this to set our under eye. So to set my under eye, I'm going to use the Sony Kashuk brush. I love this brush. I got it from Target. It's a really good quality brush at an affordable price. So if you want like a good, you know, sizable under eye setting brush or bronzer brush or blush brush, I feel like this is a good one, honestly. It's really good. Look at that. I love it. I think this is much better. And the shade is really a good match. So if you have similar skin tone like mine, I think this will be a good one. And it just looks really good. All in all. So I really love it. And the brush is super soft as well. So I really recommend it. I just love how my face looks right now. It looks really good. This powder is really gold. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to the brows. So to draw my brow, I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Waze. Literally my first ever brow product. Before that, I don't even think I ever buy anything for my brows. So this is definitely an OG for me. Look at the brows. Just so much better, so much like put together. So I just love it. All right, so the brows are done. So moving on to the lashes, I'm going to use my G1 She Mascara. I remember back in the day, like before there are more like mascaras coming up, it's usually like the high end. So I've been always wanting a G1 She Mascara. And now I have it, so it's really good. I love the wand. Look at the wand. I just love it.
Alright, so the lashes is out. I really love these lashes. It looks really natural. It looks really good. I still recommend it if you have the budget. I think, you know, there's nothing wrong to indulge yourself once in a while. So the Jiwangshu one is a good one. Alright, moving on is our cheeks. Alright, moving on for the bronzer. I am going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in the shade Medium Deep. So this one is a matte bronzer. So there's no shimmer to it, which is really nice. I have already put a little bit on because I just want to test it out before I put more. So it is a very nice cool brow, as you can see. I'm using the same brush, the Sony Casual brush. It's a really nice like shaped brush and I just love it. But I'm going to use a, another blending brush, which is the MAC 168. This is like an oldie but goodie as well just to blend it out a little bit more because it is very pigmented so just be careful using a light hand I feel like I put a little bit too much but you know what we can always use a clean blending brush to soften it up also another trick is that we can use the setting powder to put over it just to make it less you know harsh this is called wheeling I learned from Jeffree Star's makeup artist Nipstick Nick she said you just put it on top of the matte bronzer then you can have that veiling kind of effect so it's really nice i love it i think it's nice i love this shade so pretty and this one smells really good it smells like chocolate i think they still carry this i could be wrong but i don't think this is like a discontinued item i personally love it and there's a reason why so many people like Rave about it. So yeah, that's the bronzer looks like. I really really love it. And also, I feel like for me personally, like my collection, especially back in the day, because I don't have like a big budget, and also I did not do YouTube, so there's no justification to buy every new thing. So all the things that I bought were the things that people kept raving about it. That's the whole reason why I put it in my collection because I have a limited funding and also I'm not doing YouTube so there's no point of me like trying new things and if it's not working out I have to return it. I just don't like that. I don't like returning stuff. I think it's awkward. I just you know I just rather just buy it and everyone has a good time. I just don't like any kind of confrontation in the slightest. So, but I have to give it though, like Sephora or Alta, they're super understanding, their employees are super nice, they never gave me a hard time returning stuff because, you know, I usually only bring it back if it's like broken in shipment, that's why. Even if sometimes it's broken a little bit, I just keep it because, you know, I just don't think it's worth it. But anyway, I love like the bronzer, like all my older collections are more like the holy grail status item versus the new items in my collection are more like just the fun new stuff probably not a lot of people testing it out because i want to test it out so yeah i can see that shift changing when i like look into my collection but anyway moving on for the highlight i'm going to use the laura Galler highlighter so this is the gelato store illuminator in the shade gilded honey i just love this shade i think it's so pretty and the inside here is what it looks like. It's just so pretty. I just love it. I think this is so like pigmented and natural. So if you want like a natural look and if you have similar skin tone, especially like yellow undertone, I feel like this can be your best friend. So I'm going to just use like a blending brush. This is the Morphe E23 brush. Remind, reminds me a lot of the MAC. So I'm going to just Gently swipe on my cheeks. Look at that pigmentation. It's amazing. That's why I love this one. It's natural yet very pigmented, if that makes sense. It's not like blinding, blinding, and like the crazy blinding, like ice blue or something, but it's still very pigmented. Look at that. So people will definitely see your highlight. So I feel like if you want some kind of drama on your cheeks but like not too much to the point that it's not really like appropriate for normal daily activity i think this is a good one honestly and there's a reason why they're still selling in all time so i highly recommend that one next we're going to do some blush and for today i'm going to use the nyx sweet cheeks palette this is not really that old this is actually a fairly new item i just never used it somehow in my collection so i'm like okay let me just use it today 
I just love this color combo. It's just so pretty. There's so many possibilities for different looks. So for today, I'm going to pick the coral color, mix a little bit with this kind of orangey coral. So just to, you know, pop on my cheeks. I'm just using a wet and wild brush. It's really, really nice. And then just pop on the cheeks. I love it. It's not really like super pigmented like coral or like orangey. That's why I think it's really good for daily use because you can see I feel like it's not really like overpowering. So basically this is just like a natural touch to like the bronzer. If you want a little bit like the pink color on your cheeks, I think this is a good one. So yeah. As you can see, I just love it. I think it's really, really cute. All right, so we're done with the face makeup and the movie on is the lip. The lips today. First, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lolita. This is a shade. I remember this one was so popular in like 2015, 16. They're still popular, but I feel like because they're new products, so people don't talk about it as much, but I still love it. So... It is a very pretty color. I really love this color. I think this can be a finished look, especially with this color. It's definitely already like an elevated look, but I kind of want a little bit of a clove money from the Kylie Coco collection, like in the center, just to layer it. This is like a beautiful, kind of like a nude mauve shade. I just love this kind of shade. So I'm going to Put right in the center. Mmm, it's pretty. Okay, a little bit more. Just in the center. It is a very pretty color. I really love it. I think those two, you can match it, they will look good. You can use them individually. I feel like they're both gonna look good as well. I really love Lolita, I just think it's so pretty. I haven't used it in a while, but now looking back at it, I get why it's so popular. So yeah, this is my look, it's all finished. And lastly, we're gonna set my face and I'm going to use the Fix Plus. But this is the matte edition because, you know, Matte is better, in my opinion. So we're still using like a classic, but with a little new twist, I guess. So we're going to just... It feels really nourishing on the face and it definitely helps melt your powders into your skin. So yeah, I love it. And this is a finished look. If you want to see more get ready with me using like oldie but goodie makeup from my collection just leave a comment down below or just sum up this video i'll definitely do more so yeah that's it for today until next time i'll see you guys love you bye